Hi, I'm Don, and this is The Hobbyist Geek. Welcome back, y'all. Today, we're kicking off a brand new series. That's right, we are going with the Metal Earth Transformers. Now, way back in the day, uh, Metal Earth actually did a series of Transformers. There were four of them. Uh, Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Megatron, and Soundwave. Uh, they were unpainted, very blocky, very stiff poses, uh, and incredibly small. Incredibly small. Uh, this new series has them painted. They're far more fluid in their poses, and they've taken the original four and added a newcomer. And we're going to kick this series off with that newcomer, Starscream. I am hoping that these are also a bit taller than the original models, but we'll find out, obviously. But for now, why don't we come on in, we'll take a look at the packaging, and see what comes inside. Okay, so here is the packaging for Starscream. And you can see, I mean, he looks... He actually looks really good. Um, I like the pose. I like the uh, way he's formed here. Um... The fingers look like they might be a bit tough, and you can actually see in the window here the hand that's got those fingers. So that's going to be a little tough, obviously very small. Uh, we'll see how that comes along. According to this, there are 86 total pieces, a difficulty of 6 out of 10. Maybe not too hard. Um... Scale may play a factor in that. We'll see. You can see the other four models that we will indeed be getting to. Uh, three sheets. And that's really about it. There's not a whole lot more to say on the packaging. Let's see what comes inside. All right. And here we are. We have our three sheets of metal. Um, I got to tell you, I don't know if that's showing up on camera here, but this... Red is, it seems to be filled with a bunch of glitter and stuff in there, too. This is really going to show up nicely once the model's been completed. Um, it looks like there might be some on the white, but it's hard to tell. Um, you can see the uh, Decepticon logos are upside down, which is uh, an interesting uh, throwback to the Masterpiece version of Starscream, uh, which is kind of cool. Uh, we do have paint on both sides for some of the pieces. I'm guessing, obviously, just the pieces, uh, that require it. Uh, we've got this nice deep blue and, and it, it looks like it's showing up on camera. I hope it is, but it's almost like a kind of camo, uh, sculpt to it. Maybe, a, a throwback to the cartoons. Um, so there's different shades of blue. Uh, the red seems solid, but the white also has this kind of camo effect, which is really, really kind of cool. <laughs> I like it. I'm looking forward to seeing what the final product looks like. There are, are indeed some very, very small pieces here and there, uh, which may or may not prove problematic. Uh, I still say this hand is going to be the worst, but... We shall see. You also get these instructions. You got two pages of instructions here. So you've got your uh, parts identifier and your first stages, along with a second full sheet of instructions. Um, wow, this is a much bigger sheet. <laughs> So, okay, now the instructions themselves, these are not uh, tiny, like we've been seeing with some of the Peace Cool stuff, uh, easily legible, doesn't seem to be terribly difficult based on what I'm seeing here. We'll find out as we get further into the build, of course. But, how about enough talking from me? Let's get into the build.
Okay, guys, so here we are. The finished Metal Earth Starscream model, and I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit in love with this guy. I really am. He is small, I'll give him that, but uh, he is incredible. I mean, he is awesome. He's an excellent, excellent, excellent representation of the Starscream figure. Um, and uh, Metal Earth did an excellent job on the design. The paint job is amazing, actually. Uh, it's vibrant where it needs to be. They, it looks like they added glitter to the red and the blue. Um, very well applied as well. It doesn't, you know, come off terribly easily like some models that I've done. Um, all in all, <clears throat> I cannot say enough good things about this. I mean, the proportions are right. The only real issue is the size. Uh, there were a couple of problem areas, which we'll get into. But all in all, I think this is a wonderful, wonderful piece, and I'm happy to have it in my collection. Now, coming in, we do have the you know uh, the red and the blue and the white um you can uh, kind of see where on the uh, red particularly or excuse me on the white particularly it's got this kind of camo pattern to it streaked pattern almost almost like in the cartoons you know to kind of showcase depth and whatnot uh they would do a little bit of shading and I mean it looks like it just kind of jumped right off the screen you got a little bit of that on the blue not as much uh, the red and the blue both have this glitter so that it kind of shines um, the head sculpt very very star scream I really like that head sculpt that is awesome uh, the chest with the nice and you know gold uh, inlay there I mean all in all, I mean, this piece is great. It's also quite stable, as you can see. Um, and it does allow for a little bit of a back kick because these things act as heel spurs in case it starts to fall a little bit. Uh, the only real problem areas were the guns. And it's mainly because of scale, trying to get the rounded area and trying to get that lined up right as you can see I mean, it's just a little bit off not a lot I can do about it and then the nose uh, I will say the nose and this piece right here on his forehead uh, I, had the, I actually lost them uh, I was trying to bend and shape and they clipped out of the tweezers and just went flying across the room they're somewhere here but I'll never find them uh, but thankfully, uh, the pack actually had spares for those two pieces. So this is a completed model. That nose is tiny. Be very careful when you're putting that thing on. Uh, I love the open hand here. Uh, that was not particularly difficult to assemble, believe it or not. Uh, and, I mean, it just looks great. And I mean, let's face it. That is a star screen pose. Okay. That represents the character incredibly well. It's awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple size comparisons in here. And uh, to kick that off, that is Megatron from the first Metal Earth Transformers line. And you can see the difference in the quality. I mean, you know, his face is just flat. Um, you know, th there's no star scream in the original line, so I can't really showcase that. But, I mean, this I thought was great at the time. But, now that we've got this, you can tell just how blocky and stiff and everything that this guy is i mean how, he just it doesn't look good by comparison 
from a height perspective he's shorter even with the cannon on the back and the stand under his feet uh, but not by much not by much so these figures are not that much bigger uh, let's get a couple of other things in here and here he is next to Iron Man from the Marvel line and you can see Iron Man is significantly taller than Starscream here. I'm not sure why the Marvel line got such an increase in size. Um, but if I'm being honest, I like the Starscream figure better. I think the engineering on it is significantly improved. And it represents the character more than the Iron Man model does. But there is... A significant height difference for you toy collectors out there here he is next to the studio series uh, Starscream model uh, and he's about half the height of that guy and here he is next to the Moo model version of Starscream and as you can see I mean there's not really a comparison here I mean the Moo model one is the superior model in pretty much every possible aspect but it's got a significantly higher price point as well uh much more complicated and difficult to build and it's going to take up a lot more room on your shelf whereas this guy you can put him just about anywhere anyway that's about all i've got for today i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.